Dynamic Waveform Modulation. In the early days of synthesizers, the sound waves has been created by electronic circuits. The only waves that could been made had the form of a sine, square, or sawtooth. Nowadays, vibrations can be calculated by a computer, and thus we can create an endless number of different waveforms with a wide range of symmetries. You may ask, which vibration sounds best? That is the wrong question, because every constant vibration sounds boring in the long run. The ears want to be entertained and are searching for dash new experiences. Therefore, the right question is, what makes a sound interesting? Dynamic changing of the sound. An interesting sound must constantly change in a way that the ears conveys the feeling that this change has a harmonic structure. This anticipation and recognizing of the harmony gives the ear an eureka moment and makes it happy. How can we change the color of a sound dynamically? A. The classic way, dynamic filtering. Take a constant wave with many harmonics, saw or square wave, and filter out the higher overtones with a low-pass filter. If you let drift the cutoff frequency of the filter from high to low during the tone, you will get a sound that starts bright and ends dull. Examples, piano or guitar. If you make it reverse, you will get a sweep effect. B, microtuning. Another classic way to get colorful sounds is to superimpose two, or more, slightly detuned waves. This leads to inferences, enhancing or extinguishing, of the overtones so that the timbre is permanently changing. C. Dynamic Waveform Modulation. This is an extension of the pulse-wide modulation of square waves to other shapes of waves. The overtone spectrum of a wave changes with the symmetry. The more unbalanced a wave is, the more overtones will arise and the more acid it will sound. The level of unbalance can be changed by a modulation curve during the tone. On the oscillator page, you can adjust the basic waveform, the type dot of modulation, and many more details for four oscillators. The dynamic of the modulation curve and the setting of the LFO can be adjusted by the sliders. Let's start with a clean sine wave. If we make it more asymmetric, the overtones, the yellow bars, raises, and the sound gets brigther. If we turn the constant modulation, blue line, to a dynamic raise and fall, the sound starts bright and ends soft. We can change the basic waveform to get sharper waves with more acid sounds. Take a look to the yellow overtone spectra. You can change the modulation curve with the sliders for start, max, attack, decay, sustain, and end. You can find the waveform modulator on the dynamic synth bank of the desktop orchestra.